Hello everyone, so I have two drone strikes for you here, and these are big ones. One is on an airport near Moscow, one is on an oil facility in Krasnodar. I'm going to start with the airport as that's the most interesting one. This video here shows smoke from a fire after at least one drone hit Domodovo Airport in Moscow. Now, it's unknown how many drones actually hit the airport or indeed were sent to hit it. This video I'm going to play now without me talking. So the person recording says that this is the third drone he's seen attacking the airport. You can hear the telltale buzz of the drone's engine as it heads towards the target. Here is another video. This one looks like debris from a drone which may have been intercepted before hitting the airport itself. But remember, in the first video we saw smoke inside, so it appears that one drone at least did hit its target. But again, at the moment it's unknown what damage was caused by the drones or how many drones were using the attack. On screen now is a Google Maps image of the airport. So, Domodedovo is the second largest airport in Russia and it serves Moscow. It's one of the two main airports which actually serve Moscow. It's located, as seen here, south of Moscow itself, about 40 kilometers or so. Here, on this Google Maps image, you can see this airport is about 430 kilometers just over to the nearest border with Ukraine. So, a drone strike here on one of Moscow's main airports. Zelensky has certainly taken out his big stick of consequences lately and has given Russia a good old paddling with it. And I don't think it's any consequence that all of this is happening in the run-up to Russia's election. So now, let's have a look at our next set of videos. Another day, another Russian oil refinery hit by Ukrainian drones. This is becoming a daily occurrence now, and is becoming a tad embarrassing for Russia. These videos which are playing now, show fires and drones hitting the Slavyansk Echo oil facility in Krasnodar region. This facility is beyond Crimea, but I'll check where it is and the area in the facility that was hit later on. This oil refinery was hit by five drones according to reports, and you can see in this video multiple fires burning in the facility. And I'll play one of the videos without me talking, because you can also hear more drones on the way, and then another impact. Notably, once again, no incoming samfire is seen trying to intercept the drones, or even ground fire. Once again, these drones caught Russia with their kegs down. So Russia's air defence is looking more and more ineffective by the day. I'm going to play the video without me talking now. Вот еще один прилет. Короче, ильский МПЗ говорит, это уже седьмой. Это прям в бочку попали, будем убирать. Нет, еще не прошли. Охренеть. Славянск на Кубани, завод горит. Еще один, еще один. Где ПВО? Смотри, вот летит. Вот, вот, вот летит, видно его. Они летят, блин, не с той стороны Украины, а с нашей стороны куда-то летят, блин. Летит, летит где-то. Сука. Вот это сейчас добро въебет. Охуеть. Сейчас пиздец как въебет, он это огромный летит. Вот. О, сейчас он даст. Ничего не работает, ничего никакого ПВО не срабатывает. Да от какой ПВО, братан? Смотри. Это же наши, с нашей стороны летят, они от хохлов летят. Хрен его знает, откуда они летят, они могут залетать по другой стороне. Сейчас по кругу, смотри, пойдет. Вот отстреливает его. И что они? Ма! Еще один туда же. Туда же. So on that video you saw two large fires at the oil facility at least, and then 
you can hear the sweet sound of victory overhead as yet another drone attacks a plant. That's shortly followed by an impact in the burning area, followed by an explosion. Igor Shushko on Twitter has located the area hit, circled in red here. This is the area that Ukraine has targeted on other oil refineries and other oil sites. Comments on past videos explain to me that these are Destillations columns and reaction vessels. These are complex structures that will take weeks or months to repair and cost millions of dollars to repair. Much more valuable than hitting one of the oil tanks which Ukraine tended to target in the past. From what I understand, these are basically the part of a refinery which turns crude oil into other products such as petroleum and diesel. So Ukraine destroying these basically means the entire facility is now completely worthless until the damage is fixed. So, it's no wonder at all that Ukraine's drones are fixated on malleting this part of the refinery completely, rather than hitting the oil tanks. As you saw in this video and previous ones, they don't just hit it once, they hit it multiple times to cause as much damage to it as possible. There isn't too much information on the Slavyansk Echo oil facility online, but a few reviews on Google have highlighted safety as a bit of a concern. I guess safety is even more of an issue now that a drone might land on the refinery at any moment. As seen here, this refinery is about 300 kilometers from the front lines. Now, I don't know which way these drones flew to get here. If in this direction shown over the front lines of some defenses of the like, or if they were launched from towards Odessa and either went over Crimea itself, or circled around Crimea. Remember, Ukraine has demonstrated that these drones have a range of at least 1,000 kilometers, likely more. So, they could easily fly the long route around Crimea, bypassing some defenses that way to get here. But either way, once again, Russia's SAM network and air defenses are being exposed as next to useless here. To be fair, I expect the Panzers and short range systems which could help are being kept near military targets such as airfields and naval bases and the like. But still, it shows Russia just can't protect its infrastructure anymore. Surely it's about time to do as the Pope suggested and wave the white flag. Now that's not all I have for you. Remember yesterday, I covered a strike on Sizeran in Samara, an oil refinery there. Well, we already have a satellite image showing it. This was taken while the facility is still smoking. Rather than do an entire video on it, I figured I'll just include it here as a Brucey bonus, as there's not much to discuss as I covered it yesterday. Here's a map put together by Alex VB on Twitter. I'm going to link directly to the map in the description if you want to check it out. But this shows Russia's oil and gas infrastructure, which is potentially targets for Ukraine. These are oil and gas refineries, with the ones of the cross marking ones that have either been hit by drones in the past or have suffered fires of other sorts. The one in Belarus suffered a fire not caused by drones, for example. You can spot a few prize targets remaining within range. So, what will be hit tomorrow? My money's on number 25, the Saratov refinery, or the Moscow refinery. As hitting one in Moscow will send quite a bit of a statement, it's definitely worth checking the map out if you have time. So, that's it for this video. Two big drone strikes here, one on an oil facility, one of them hitting a major airport near Moscow, and a huge, huge embarrassment for Russia. Hitting the oil refineries constantly, almost every day now, is embarrassing enough. But last night, Ukraine managed to send its drones over and hit one of Moscow's two airports, and the second biggest airport in Russia. As mentioned earlier in the video, I don't think it's any coincidence that these drone strikes like this are occurring during Russia's election. The one at the airport especially, it's just a statement showing Russia and Moscow what state Russia is in under Putin after he dragged them into a three-day special military operation, which now lasted like three years and is now seeing regular drone strikes hitting Russian oil facilities. Not only that, but now drone strikes hitting Russian airports, not to mention what's occurring in Belgorod and Kursk and that sort of thing. So the war is definitely now on Russia's doorstep. Now, before we finish, a quick mention about the ongoing fundraiser with Rebirth Energy. 
which is intended to buy a new buggy for Ukraine's armed forces. Big thanks to everybody who's donated so far. It's about halfway gone, maybe a little bit more. The donation link is in the description as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much and take care everybody.